So I want to thank everybody for coming and taking the time. Everybody does have busy schedules. We've got a lot of members of the coalition and the staff of the members here. So in addition to your busy time and the value of your time, I just want to thank you for everything you do every day, working to help make the lives of children, youth, and families better in state of Rhode Island. So round of applause for all the staff. It's going to be a very brief speaking program. I'm kicking it off. And after that, we're really hoping to meet with members of the General Assembly down here. We actually have some of them here. Um, but just to have some one-on-one -on -one conversations about really the issues that we all face day in and day out that impact the families that we serve. So thank you for taking the time to do that. Um, what we're here today, so I'm Craig Gordon. I'm the chair of the coalition. Uh, it's very fitting that we're actually here meeting in May because May is both foster care month as well as mental health awareness month. And it's our advocacy day for all the issues that affect what I was family. So it's, that's, uh, we didn't plan it that way, but we're glad that it actually happened. Um, and I really want to thank all the town of Goodness our executive director will be up in a little bit, and Marie Tor, our administrative assistant, who did all the uh, work to kind of make today happen. Um, the goal for today really is to raise awareness and raise these issues and discussion and discourse, the level of discourse, about the issues that really affect families in our state. Uh, I want to thank, actually I want to thank, I know that we had many members of the General Assembly come up to the table, they actually have to go into some work groups, but any members of the General Assembly here now? Representative Bennett, Representative Casimiro. Raise hands, let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. You have good time. You, you, know, you have plenty of advance on your time, but thank you, because I don't know any issue that's really more important than really making sure there's a really solid safety net for the state's families that are vulnerable, disenfranchised, and need. So thank you very much for your support and for your leadership on that. Uh, we're affirming our commitment today to families. Our work to serve families who need help, sometimes a lot, sometimes a little. The coalition holds three principles near and dear that really guide all of our efforts. The first one, families need ready access to a solid array of programs, supports, and services that are available when they need it, for the intensity that they need, and for the duration that they need. What we support is a full array of supports for children and families. Uh, we believe that really that's what's essential for families to thrive. And that's what we all want all of our families to do. Principle number two, what we stand for, a public-private partnership. No sector, public or private, can do this on their own. The answers are too complicated. The easy answers are gone. We have to really make sure that a strong, transparent, and accountable mutual partnership is what's going to help us move the system along and get kids and families what they need. Together, I know that we can all do it. Both sectors, public and private, need a qualified workforce, they need to be well-trained, and they need to be adequately compensated. That's where you clap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, geez, that come on. Um, and every sector needs to do what it does best. We both have expertise that we need, so when we do it together, we play to our strengths. And finally, all the services have to be high quality and responsive. So we know that when we have services and supports that are responsive, high quality, culturally competent, that's what's going to help families do best, thrive, and be able to go on. 